You've likely seen ice fishermen and others who enjoy the winter weather starting to dot West Michigan's now frozen lakes and ponds. But how do you know the stuff is stable and they're not, as the saying goes, on thin ice? 13 on your side's Charlie Tinker with information that could save your life. We got some ice fishermen out here. We got an ice boat over here. Lots of people having some winter fun out of the elements, but it's so cold out here that your face just starts to feel pretty numb very quickly. It's not the situation where you want to fall through the ice and not be prepared ahead of time with the information and equipment that could save your life. We're here with Officer Troy Brown uh, with the East Grand Rapids Department of Public Safety. Best guy to tell us all about this. This time of year when guys are just getting out on the ice, really need to be careful when they first go out. Um, they need to have an ice spud. They need to check for depth when they go out. It's never safe. Right. It's always a danger. Which is why it's so important. As you mentioned the spud, which is you know a stick that you would use to physically spot check the ice, correct? Yeah. Because it's, it's a, not necessarily going to be consistent, right? Uh, correct. Yeah, that's one of the things that you need to check as you go out because sometimes there are low ice spots in the lake. And that spud will go right through the ice. Uh, probably time to back out. Something you should know ahead of time. I would hope right? so, yeah. Yeah, so uh, obviously you mentioned the importance of communicating, you know, either with, with a phone that you've got on you, telling Correct. people, you know, where you're physically going to be, just right. in case, you know, God forbid, you do fall through the ice, you, you've got somebody who's looking out for you, right? Ideally, you have a partner. A common sense, we say it goes a long way, it really does. How long does it take until hypothermia theoretically kicks in? It's real quick. Hypothermia is gonna kick in within minutes. Um, it, it just, it's one of those things that once it happens, it's hard to get it back. We recommend have ice spikes. Uh, they're basically like the little mittens that you used to have uh, with your gloves, but in the end they have spikes. So if you happen to go in the water, you can at least get to the edge, ice spike the ice and pull yourself out. But the other part is you need to get moving. Okay. Um, need to get into the heat. Obviously very key, because again, it's, as right. you said, it's just minutes. So. Right. Well, Officer Troy Brown, thank you very much uh, with the East Grand Rapids Department of Public Safety.